So hello to you, my name is Vlad and what I have in front of me is this little laptop. Now this is actually well, a very thin laptop. On the left side what do we have? So this is a Kensington lock, this is a LAN connector. This laptop is very thin, it truly is. HDMI, USB 3 and the SD card reader. On the right side there are two USBs 2.0. This is the microphone slash headphones jack and basically this is the uh, power. Nothing on the rear and nothing underneath. Now I will be actually opening this thing just to see whether you can change the hard drive and or upgrade RAM. So yeah, I will be opening this and be back after I open the laptop. So I have removed all of the screws and let's see how to open this thing. I believe it is actually quite easy. So let's see. Yeah. Basically there is a nothing inside and this is non-upgradable whatsoever. And there is nothing you can actually well clean in here. So yeah. And the battery is yeah. Well. So there you have it. This is what it looks like from the inside. Uh, this is actually a well glorified mobile phone. This is the bias chip. Let me show you. In case you ever need to program it. But yeah, there is really nothing inside this laptop. Okay, I will be closing it and let's boot it and let's see uh, how well it performs. Now this is 1.1 GHz, I believe, uh, CPU, so don't expect too much. But then again, this is a bloody cheap laptop, so yeah. We have Wi-Fi, which we have seen before, and uh, it is ultra slim, it definitely is. So gigabit Ethernet, which is quite nice. And uh, this, I actually have this thing on my Dell, 180 degrees. But to be honest, I didn't find anything useful for this. If you have any idea for what this thing can be used, please tell me. So this is the uh, CPU, which I believe is at 1.1 GHz, Intel HD graphics and 2 GB of DDR3 uh, low power, I believe, memory. Now, uh, this thing has only got EMMC drive, uh, 32 gigs, and it cannot be upgraded. So if you're buying this laptop for, even for browsing, I'm not quite sure whether it'll well, be sufficient, I suppose, because Windows updates, they are horrific, they, they are memory hoggers, they are disk hoggers, they, are, they, they tend to uh, use a lot of space, so you can, sure, install an SD card and maybe even install programs to it, but whether you want to do that or not, that is entirely up to you. So, it did turn on. And let's see how much time will it take for it to boot. Okay, this is actually quite okay. So there you have it, it actually booted. So 25 seconds, that's actually not uh, that bad. So the next thing I will be doing is actually testing the uh, well, speed of the hard drive and the uh, video. And uh, actually, you know, uh, this keyboard is actually quite uh, quite okay to write. To be honest, I don't like this Je, Genter, but yeah, it's uh, okay, it is a bit uh, benty, but yeah, it's actually quite okay. Uh, fuck. Um, but it is quite okay uh, to write on. So, hello, how are you? So, yeah. Pretty, pretty nice, and it's uh, it's not that uh, that loud. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, connect to the internet and let's uh, test how loud the speakers are. And I can tell you right away that they actually seem to be quite loud. So let's connect to the internet and let's take a, well, let's listen to it. This is actually awesome. Okay, bass does not exist, but this is loud. And again, yeah, there is no such thing as bass in here, so yeah, but... Okay, so, so to be honest, it's not, I would say, hi-fi, definitely not. 
but it is loud and for a laptop that's this cheap it's uh, I would say yeah awesome so uh, the next thing I will be doing is actually testing the uh, video and the last thing I will be doing is actually testing the hard drive now I don't expect this hard drive to be fast because this is e -E -MC -E MMC drive so yeah maybe 100 megabytes per second top okay so um, yeah let's test the uh, video now let's start with 1020p which I will be opening with VLC in just a second. So yeah, 720p is just fine. It always has been. I believe that even Pentium 4s can actually reproduce this thing without a problem. So the next thing will be our pigeon, which is uh, full HD, and yeah, it is actually quite nice and there are no uh, lines so this thing is actually I believe this is hardware accelerated and it is uh, well awesome however 4k that I doubt mm, yeah okay I will be trying to open 4k with uh, a media player classic yeah so as you can see, it is reproducing it, but uh, <laughs> with uh, the uh, yeah the stutter of this video is uh, well, unbearable. So there is nothing much you can actually well wa watch in 4K. Let's go. So yeah, just as I have suspected, this is actually a very slow hard drive. I was actually I was actually expecting 100 megabytes. A second at, le at least these two but uh, well read anyway but yeah this is uh, this is very slow then again uh, only four gigabytes are free which is actually I'm wondering why hmm, strange so that might be the issue with the uh, speed but yeah so there you have it I hope this video helped in some way. Now I did actually set this uh, computer free so Windows Professional are installed at the moment. Uh, you can actually get them for free which is nice because uh, with the uh, Windows S you cannot uh, start anything, even registry editor that has not been downloaded from uh, Microsoft Store. So th that's, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish with that. Uh, but yeah. So they managed to fuck, you know, they managed to fuck that thing up as well. So there you have it. I hope you like this video. Um, again, if you do, click thumbs up. If you not, well, you know what to do. Um, what can I say about this laptop? Uh, I don't know. You be the judge. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would never buy a laptop such as this one because this is, well, a glorified mobile phone, to be honest. But uh, I think for somebody, you know, to watch YouTube, maybe listen to music, I think it's quite okay. And again, it is bloody cheap, so, you know, yay. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please uh, ask them. Leave the comments down below. And uh, see you next time. Bye.